Michael rode the boat ashore. Hallelujah. Michael rode the boat ashore. Hallelujah. Some sad news to pass along to you this morning. We have learned that Pete Seeger, an icon of American folk music, has died. His five decade long songbook transformed our culture and his life's message became part of the history of our nation. ABC's Lindsay Davis has a look at the life of this legend. El Arroyo de la Sierra. You may not recognize his face, but you certainly know Pete Seeger's music. Seeger wrote hundreds of songs performed by many of the greats in American folk music. He was a gifted storyteller, and he learned at the feet of a master, Woody Guthrie. When I first heard this song, I said, that's, that's just too simple. Seeger's career as a mainstream performer with The Weavers was ended by the Red Scare. He was blacklisted and sent to jail for refusing to answer questions about his former ties with the Communist Party. He reemerged as a pioneer of protest music. His song became the anthem of the civil rights movement. Another that he wrote in 1962 to protest the Vietnam War still resonated 43 years later in a concert against the war in Iraq. Where have all the flowers gone? Songs, he once said, are weapons. A sentiment spelled out on his banjo which read, this machine surrounds hate and forces it to surrender. All my life's a circle. Seeger did not surrender. A singer activist well into his 80s. Musician Bruce Springsteen said he reawakened the lost voices of America. Lindsay Davis, ABC News. All right, here's an amazing footnote for you. Pete Seeger, who was 94, was performing just until a few months ago. Here he is singing This Land is Your Land at a Farm Aid concert in September of last year. And you might recognize some of those faces. There's John Cougar Mellencamp, Willie Nelson. Some heavyweights yeah, 94, there. incredible. And he died at New York Presbyterian Hospital. His family says uh, they were holding hands and singing together when he passed. He will be missed. He's an icon.